This video is brought to you by my Patreon producers. If you'd like to become a Patreon producer, you can find more at patreon.com forward slash Mason Meninga. Back in my day, they called leaving evangelicalism backsliding, but now they call it deconstruction. Regardless of what they call it, if you're watching this, you probably are trying to leave evangelicalism or you already have. And it is probably one of the most important things you will ever do in your life. Even though it is important, leaving evangelicalism may also be one of the most difficult things you ever do, besides surviving one of those disgusting youth group games. It may feel like that you will lose your entire community, and it may even feel like you will lose your faith. But you don't have to lose your faith when you leave evangelicalism, or stop shaking your ass to the song Sadie Hawkins Dance. In fact, you can become even more Christian when you do but you just might not be sure how to leave evangelicalism and still stay Christian. I'm Mesa Menega, and today I'll be talking about how you can leave evangelicalism and still stay Christian. Before we jump in, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And also let me know what you think about the video in the comments. Okay, before I begin talking about how to leave evangelicalism and stay Christian, I first wanna mention that I think it is absolutely okay if you leave evangelicalism and join some other religion. It's also absolutely okay if you leave evangelicalism and leave religion altogether. And it's absolutely okay if you leave evangelicalism and the only three in one you still believe in is men's shampoo. Don't let anyone shame you for using that stuff. So there are other options after you leave evangelicalism, but for many of you who leave evangelicalism, you are still interested in Christianity and Jesus, but you might not be sure where to start. You might not be sure because evangelicalism is great at convincing people that it is the only Christian tradition. Even though evangelicalism may have kept you from learning about other Christian traditions, it is important to know that there are many ways to be Christian besides being evangelical even though other Christian traditions aren't known for their pop punk anthems. I even have a whole video about there not being one Christian tradition, so be sure to check out that video too. I also want to mention before beginning that each of these steps are solely based on my experience of leaving evangelicalism and staying Christian. Back when I looked like someone who knew much more about different kinds of protein powder than different kinds of Christianity. So I don't think these steps are prescriptive at all but they are meant to be helpful guides for you because they were for me. All right, so where should you start if you want to leave evangelicalism and stay Christian? Ironically, the first step starts with the Bible. That's right, you can't leave that damn book even if you leave evangelicalism. One of the most helpful things I did to leave evangelicalism and stay Christian was not just reading the Bible, but actually learning about the Bible. Fortunately, I went to a Christian college and seminary that took biblical studies seriously. And so I got to learn all about the historical, literary, and theological context of different books and chapters in the Bible. I got to explore questions like, what was going on in Jesus's context that made the Roman Empire want to kill him? What kind of genre is Genesis 1 if it isn't science? And was that really Paul's theology that messed me up so bad? Exploring the actual context of the Bible opened up the Bible to me in a whole new way. Instead of just thinking the Bible was mostly a rule book of how I should live my life or a science or history book, I got to explore it as a dynamic piece of literature filled with stories and poetry. And I think the best stories and poetry shape us, just like Left Behind and the poetry of Matt Thiessen. I just wasted 10 seconds of your life. So I think the stories and poetry of the Bible can shape us too. In fact, because the Bible was opened up to me in this way, my faith is much more shaped by the Bible now than it was when I was a fundamentalist. The next step to stay Christian as you leave evangelicalism is similar to the first, and that is to learn more about theology. All right, so what I'm about to tell you might blow your mind. Are you ready? There is more to theology than the free will versus predestination debate. As you collect your blown up brain matter, you might want to check out my video about why you should study theology to deconstruct your faith. Because it is essentially the same reason why you should learn more about theology to stay Christian. 
As you learn about theology, you'll begin to realize there is so much more to Christian theology than you may have grown up with. It's like when you grow up listening to Reliant K, but then you discover Blink-182, Green Day, and New Found Glory. You might begin to learn theology from some of the early church fathers and discover that some of them were universalists. You might begin learning liberation theology and how it has shaped important social movements throughout the world over the last 100 years. You might even begin learning process theology and wonder how Calvinism didn't go extinct years ago. Regardless of what theology you learn, the important thing is I hope you are learning theology that you didn't know existed before. And like the Bible being opened up to me in a new way, theology was also opened up to me in a new way when I began to learn other theology. Now my faith is more shaped by theology than when I was a fundamentalist. The last step to stay Christian as you leave evangelicalism is exploring different Christian churches. Like I mentioned before, evangelicalism is great at keeping you from learning all about the other Christian traditions that exist. Just like the government wants to keep you from learning about aliens. You may not be in a place to explore other churches yet, but if you want to stay Christian after leaving evangelicalism, I have found that it is helpful being a part of a church. There are many different types of churches outside of evangelicalism that may theologically and politically vibe with you. For example, there is the United Church of Christ, Quaker tradition, and the Episcopal Church. These kinds of church traditions are like the Hawk Nelson of Christian pop punk. They're good, but there is better. There are even theologically and politically progressive churches that aren't affiliated with any one denomination. And many of those are the types of churches I vibe with most. These kinds of churches are like the Reliant K of Christian pop punk. Oh, oh, oh. So those are just some of the kinds of churches that I would recommend, but there are many others. You should also keep in mind that while I generally recommend these types of churches, every church is different. And while one church of one of the types might work well for you, another church of the same type might not be a good fit for you. You just have to find one that works for you. So there you have it three steps to leave evangelicalism and stay Christian. You should learn more about the Bible. You should also learn more theology. And lastly, you should explore the many different kinds of churches outside of evangelicalism that might be a good fit for you. And even if a church isn't a good fit for you, what will always be a good fit is khaki pants and a pink tux. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and also tell me what you thought about it in the comments. If you'd like to support more of my work, check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Mason Menega. And also check out my podcast, A People's Theology, wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, to be in your body is to be in God.